Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this thought in mind, let us start our discussion with the first part of the plant that is root. So the first question that comes to our mind is what is, what is root? Again, we have a simple answer to that. Root is that organ of a plant which typically lies below the surface of soil. Now please note this word typically here. I mean, it is not that it always lies below the surface of soil, but typically it lies below the soil. Because in most of the cases, it lies below the soil. So we actually consider it as, since it, it happens in the majority of the cases, so we assume that, okay, Root is that organ which will be below the soil because it is only in some special cases where it doesn't lie below the surface of soil. So that is root in simple terms. So here in this picture you can actually see these are the roots. So this is I. This is my root. Now again. As I said, since I started my definition like this, so it becomes very important to mention that roots can be aerial as well. It is not necessary that it always has to be underground. In some cases, it can also be present above the soil. So we will talk about them in detail very soon. Now let us talk about the categories of root. I mean, what are the different, I would not say types of roots, but yeah, there are different varieties of roots or there are different levels of roots or you can say different hierarchy of roots. Now as soon as I explain this you will be able to understand what I mean by categories of root. Primary root, secondary root, tertiary root. So these are the various categories. So you understand what I mean by category it means the levels. So what are the different levels of roots basically? They are not the types of roots. So here for example if you look at this picture which is shown here. Now can you see that there is one this thick root which actually looks like the origin of all other roots, all other branches coming out, right? So this one is the primary root, that is the original one from where all other branches are coming out. So that is my primary root. So it is formed by direct elongation of the radical. So now again you got a new term which is radical. But let me remind you that this is not a new term because we have already, you remember, we already spoke, we have already talked about reproduction in plants, right? Where I have explained you in your previous classes that how a seed is formed. So inside the seed we have a small radical and a small plumule, and that radical gradually grows into a root, and the plumule goes into the shoot, right? So when that radical grows, that small radical it starts elongating, it starts increasing in length. So that part of the root, which is the very initial part of the root or the or original part of the root, that, I mean the origin of the root. So that is basically the primary root. So here, I mean maybe initially when it was just a seed, so maybe there was a small radical and that radical actually grew this slow. So this is my primary root. So what are secondary roots? Lateral roots which are formed from primary root. So if you see, if this is my primary root, so from this root, these branches are coming out. So these are my secondary roots. So if this is my primary root, then these are my secondary roots. So now I am sure you have understood what is tertiary roots. These are the lateral roots coming from the secondary roots. Now if you see this is a secondary root but from this also you have roots coming out. So these are nothing but tertiary roots. Now similarly this process continues. So from there will be one initial root which, uh, which grows from the radical that will be primary root. So from primary root again branches will come out, there will be secondary roots. From secondary root, again, further branches will come out which will form tertiary roots, then and so on. So this process will continue. 
with the growth of the plant. So these are the various categories of root or various levels in which roots exist. So this is how the branching of root takes place in a plant. So now let us see the functions of the root system. I mean, when we are studying about each of these parts of the plant, so that is, so it is very obvious that they definitely perform some very important functions because of which they are so important and that is why we are paying so much attention to what they are and how they are and how they do their jobs. So let us look at the different functions which a root performs. The very basic function is absorption of water and minerals from the soil. So since these roots are present deep inside the soil and we all know that soil contains so many minerals, the macronutrients, micronutrients, everything is present in the soil and plants need all these minerals for their growth and development. So it is very obvious that roots are the one which actually help in absorbing those water and nutrients from the soil and thus helps in the growth of the plant. So do you think that without water or without any of these minerals a plant can grow? No, it cannot. So roots play a very basic and a very important function in the life of a plant. It provides proper anchorage to plant parts. If you see here, these roots the primary, secondary and tertiary roots which actually are formed, they actually hold the plant very tight to the soil. Now when a strong wind comes or when there is heavy rain, you would have actually seen that the trees start wailing from one side to the other. But what actually helps them to remain fixed to the ground? This is nothing, they are nothing but the roots. The roots help them to remain fixed to the ground so that they do not get I mean, uprooted so easily. Now again, you would have also seen that if there is a small plant with not so strong roots, now the roots become stronger as the plant grows. So a big tree will definitely have stronger roots than a small plant. So that, And that is why when there is a heavy wind or when there is a heavy rain, there are chances that the small plant may be uprooted, but the big tree will be survived because of the strong roots which help them to stay fixed to the ground. So proper anchorage is again a very important function of the root system. It also helps in storing food. Now many of you might, not, uh, might be surprised that how roots help in storing food. So we will see that there are some ways or there are some plants where roots get modified into different types of structures. Now everywhere in each and every plant the root system or the roots don't look like this as is shown in this figure. Now in many of the cases the roots look like this but in many other cases they get modified into different shapes and different forms. Synthesis of plant growth regulators. Now even plant needs some of the enzymes for their growth. So it also helps in synthesis of plant growth regulators. So these are some of the very basic functions of the root system, like absorption of water and minerals, providing proper anchorage, food storage, and production of many plant hormones. Now, as we go ahead, we will see that not only these primary functions, roots in many different plants also perform many other functions as well. So we will actually, when, I mean, when we actually would have discussed everything about roots, we will see, we will again compare the functions of the root system and we will see that besides these primary functions, they also perform so many other functions in so many different types of plants. Okay, so now we know what are roots, why are we studying about roots? Because they are so very important. They perform these basic functions which are needed for the survival of a plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.